Whoa, this is the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm up here on Rainbow Mountain, man. It is the first day of homeschooling. So uh, yesterday we rearranged the whole house so that uh, we could focus the whole place around homeschooling. So we, uh, the first thing was to put the, uh, the main table overlooking that. That's the view out the classroom. That's not bad, right? Kind of, kind of psyched about it. So last night I was, I don't know, I was listening to the No Agenda podcast. And, you know, I was thinking about, I, I like, I was thinking about how much I do not like what's going on on the state of, in the state of America and how watching people come together and, and I, you know, I was checking out what was going on down in Texas and I was watching the, you know, the biracial harmony of recovering from destruction, right? And I was seeing the truth of people, that people really are good. When people are left to their own devices, they, they will rise to the occasion. Yeah, there's always going to be bad apples and there's always going to be bad actors, but your average person's pretty much... A good person and you know I've been watching our, our nation going through growing pains and and trying to get to the next chapter without imploding and and so I was I'm, I'm sitting here and I, and I was like you know I want to get in the mix you know I'm a I'm a doer I'm a I'm a I'm a cage rattler. I'm not buying into the status quo. I, I believe in a revolution too, but my revolution's way different than those guys in black masks. I don't want to burn the system down. I want to raise the system, dude. I want to elevate the system. You know, I, I look at it like my back, right? The recovery of my back is, you know, as I get better, I reach plateaus where it just sort of plateaus out and it, and it psychologically it hurts almost more than it did when it hurt more because it's like I want to get better but I've reached a plateau I'm sort of stuck till I can till I can get through it and I think that's where we are as a nation man if you look at the history of our nation man we've done nothing except get better through adversity and you know people can talk a lot of smack about this this country and our founding fathers and the history of this nation but this history of this nation is based upon bettering itself and rising, rising to the occasion. And, and I look at the history of this country and I see that we've done a, a lot of, a lot of radical things to, to better ourselves and, and rise to equality for all people, man. I'm a full, like, I'm all about equality, dude, for sure. But I'm a hardcore constitutionalist at the same time, man. And so I was thinking about you know, how much I want to get in there and, and, you know, I'll fight for this. I'll fight for this country, though. I don't even consume an earthling. You know, we I've made videos about that. Like, but this is my dharma. You know, I am an American. Like, that is my part of the label on my spacesuit, if you will. And so I was sitting there, you know, and I was thinking about how much, you know, I want to do something, right? I don't, I don't like these people in the streets burning stuff down, beating people up, man. I don't dig, I don't dig people preaching hate either at the same time. I definitely don't like this whole tearing statues down because, you know, as a person who studies history, man, I know, I know what, I know what happened in this country, man. You don't want to cover up the past, right? Because it will repeat itself. So here I am, man, and I was, and I realized, man, you know, the most revolutionary act you can do is, is, besides growing your own food, is educating your own children, man. You know, it's a big, it's been a big move to, to pull the mini gram out of school and uh, home educator, right? Like I have all my, our textbooks, you know, we're going to start, I'm going to teach her Spanish. The, you know, I'm going to, the first I had her reading all summer, so she I was had her reading Call the Wild by uh, Jack London and White Fang by Jack London, and then I had her read John Steinbeck's The Black Pearl. That's what I had her read this summer because I'm getting a reading. I, I'm a believer in reading, 
And so half the reason we're pulling her from school is they got these kids plugged into laptops all day. And if you know anything about the mind control, it's the flashing light of these screens and these iPhones and these computers and televisions that rot in these kids' minds, man. You're talking about a nation that's going backwards as far as educating its children, teaching them how to think. And so then I, I realized, you know, the real revolution, the real taking charge, man, you can sit and bitch and moan all you want about the state of this nation, but what are you doing to make the world better for these kids? What are you doing to, to educate your children? And I know a lot of homeschoolers out there now all of a sudden, because I've joined, I've joined the revolution, dude, which is, which is making sure your kids are educated and they can use logic. Al, come on. Al, just one second, he's got a problem with his car. Because you know what? Because you know what it takes? A lot of energy, man. I got to tell you, dude, I'm, I'm pretty nervous about the whole thing because, yeah, all of a sudden the mini grams like mind rests in the palms of my hands and what I can do with it. But see, I'm a believer, man. I am a believer. I'm, you know, as, as people will, the way I've labeled myself, I'm an optimistic pessimist. I know the system's broken. But burning it down ain't going to fix it. You know what's going to fix it? Everybody's showing up, dude. Killing their television, man. I'll, I'll just keep saying it. Throw your television in the middle of the street. That, that's when we'll know that we're getting something done. But anyway, so, you know, a lot of people, like the schools here in Malibu, the public schools, like you go into seventh grade, all of a sudden they're doing drugs and sex. They're, they're promoting all this weird... The weird stuff with the, the transgenders and the, the being gay and this and that. And look, I don't have an issue with it. Dude, I got a, a raging left-wing sister-in-law who's gay. I, I love her, dude. I love her boyfriend who's a woman, right? I don't care. I, I'm fascinated by it. But I don't want my kids being taught about that stuff. Dude, she already knows more than the school. The people teaching at the school know about it, man. So how dare they waste her time at school talking about something she could give them a lesson on, dude. You know, the Minigram knows more about the state of human beings and all these jerk-offs at school. She's a smart kid. So when I see her time at school getting wasted, wasted when she doesn't know how to use a dictionary, they don't teach the kids how to use a dictionary anymore. What? How are you going to learn how to spell, man? I don't know how to use a dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> Here, we're making a video. She, they don't know teach the kids how to use an atlas. She, you know, when, when I realized it was time to do something, I realized when I pulled out a little globe and I was like, where do we live on the globe? She didn't know, dude. And I was like, have you ever seen a globe? She's like, nope. I go, schools don't have globes in them anymore? Dude, our education system needs to be burned down. I'll tell you that much, man. And you know what it is? It's all about the money, dude. It's all about their 45 bucks a day, dude, so they can indoctrinate our kids, so they can stick needles in our kids. That's also the other thing that got us moving, too, is, man, they're not sticking needles in our kids' arms, dude. And I'm not an anti. I want to make that super clear. I'm not an anti. But I know, I know BS when I smell it, man. So... So I, I can get pretty fired up about this whole thing, man. I can get really, here, look at the look at the thing right there, Bird. I can get really fired up. And then I realized, man, I'm doing more to thumb my nose at the system than all these clowns in there with their, with their masks and their sticks, dude. Screw those guys, man. You really want to change the world? Start educating your kids, man. Start growing your own food, dude. Have dinner with your family at night, man. That's what it's going to take, dude. Turn off that stinking television. Right, Bird? You ever seen a television? He you don't, you don't care about television. You know what he likes? Books. That's what kids should like is books. And so, you know, one of the big things, right, besides teaching Georgie to speak Spanish and, and, and get her, getting her whole thing up, up to par, thank you, Bird, is 
and she's going to learn about the Civil War. So the first the first book we're going to read in the in the school setting here is, is the Red Badge of Courage, man. You want to read read some book. You want to know what's going on in this country, man. You need to figure out. You need to know what happened with the Civil War that ripped this country apart. The ritualistic nature of that nightmare, dude. The fact that all sorts of people got swept away, man. People sit here and talk about like like they know about what race is in America and what's going on, and then they sit there and have the nerve to say that 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 this and that. That who were the abolitionists, man? Do these people even know who the abolitionists were? Do these people even know that your average Southerner wasn't <laughs> fighting for to keep people slaves? They were fighting to free themselves, man. Look, man, I, I'm a huge, I know, I know we've got some issues as a nation. But those issues are being artificially injected into our psyche, dude. And we have to raise, raise, raise ourselves to the challenge, man. And the challenge is, is realizing that, Al, you can do it right there. There you go, buddy. The, the challenge, the thing we need to ri raise, rise our, I learn to talk. We need to know our history, man. And they're not teaching that in school. They're not teaching civics in school. Man, if people knew how the, the three branches of government worked, They'd be a little pissed that Jeff Sessions ain't doing his job. And ain't ain't a word. Ow. Ow, you're not helping Daddy make this video here because Daddy's kind of fired up. Daddy realizes Daddy hasn't given up. Daddy hasn't surrendered. I haven't, man. I'm a believer, man. I believe in, a, in making this world a better place, dude. But you can't sit there and think the government's going to do the job, man. People keep thinking that, that, a, that, that a polit there's a political solution to a spiritual problem, man. It's a spiritual problem that's plaguing this nation, man. That's the problem, man, is they've taken God out of this nation. And hey, man, however you want to butter your toast is up to you, dude. But I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, I'm sitting here today on the first day of homeschooling, and I realize, man, I realize what it is to show up, dude. I'd say, this is an all-consuming reality I'm living in with two kids, homeschooling, doing the thing, man. And you know what, dude? People want to talk smack about whatever, dude. The minigram, I mean the hologram, dude, she's off killing it, dude. The mini, the hologram, dude, her career's booming, dude. People want to talk about, like, all sorts of nonsense in this nation, dude. The fact of the matter, man, she's going to go out there and she's making three times what I was making as a carpenter, dude. How is that for coming up, dude? That's right. How is that for coming up, dude? And she did it all her own, dude. She did it all on her own, man. No one, no one gave her a handout, dude. The hologram, she's the gnarliest, man. She's put through so much, dude, as a human being. And she grew up in the lap of luxury, dude. Ow. You got to be super conscious of what you're doing with your toys, buddy. Like, you're just waving them around. Like, I know you're, you're, you're the center of attention, dude. But, uh... Yeah. So... To all you that, that, that think there needs there's a reason to be pessimistic, there isn't. It's a reason to be optimistic, man. There are people all over this nation doing what I'm doing right now today. Educating their children, growing their own food, killing their televisions, man. And you know what? Houston showed the true nature of human beings, man. The true nature of human beings, man. It warms my heart to know that the, all those people of all shapes, models, and colors are there helping each other dig out of the, the putrid water of Houston. You know? and, and that's the thing that gets me bummed, man. I, one of the most diverse cities in this country, the haters. The haters are saying, I wish that upon you, man. People got to stop wishing bad things on people they disagree with, man. People need to start loving more, dude. People need to show up, dude, and take some responsibility for their actions, man. That's what I'm saying, dude. I'm doing my best to live how I talk. Put my money where my mouth is, man. That's what this is about. Talk's cheap, dude. Show up for your kids. 
And to those of you who do show up for your kids, I have nothing but respect for you, man, because at 47, dude, I didn't have a clue about what life was really about until the kids showed up and started at, till it. Thank you, son. Well, the kids told me what time it was, and I was like, whoa, the hour is late. We've got work to do, man. So this is the illusion, fired up, first day of homeschooling. The revolution lies in your heart, man, and what your heart tells your mind to do. And I'll tell you what it tells you to do. Stop hating and start loving. It's the illusion and owl, we're out.